Is he the report boss? You know? Do you know? Do you know? Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Basically that one's like the security robot in one, except much easier. All right. Is there a security robot in three? I forget. Uh, I don't know. See, it's like a blind run because we haven't played them in a while. I can remember everything about three up to a tower. <laughs> I remember you refight the old devil. You fight more Mega Van clones. You're forgetting Doc Robot. That's like the most important part of the game. Good God, the Doc Robot. That was so cool. I was just, I wished you got the weapons from it. Now in this game, you do. No, but you can use weapons from multiple games at once in the tower. So it's like that. I like how his children explode, or like his fleas or whatever they are. No. I know this joke's me beaten to death, but it's only a matter of time before Wily makes a Spike Man. Yeah, Spike's room, man. He is Mega Man's greatest foe. They still got There's shit no on stop! Okay. I'm sick of it. And lose our no damage round. For the sixth time. Save. <laughs> what, what was that you were saying about the first time? This jump isn't hard? Yeah. See that? Easy mode. Still died. What? Still died on it. I didn't die. I loaded before I actually died. I yeah, think. Maybe. This easy boss in the entire game. No. Well, maybe in this game. The pissy, most piss easy boss in the series is Frogman. Toadman. How come I can't spin on the ground? Jump. No, it's just he flinches from the buster. Oh. So, yeah, you just shoot him repeatedly. No, he's the most easiest in the series. Who? Spark Mandrel. No, no, he's not as easy as Toadman. Have you pl Okay, maybe I've not. I've played in the original, X1, yeah. But in Maverick Hunter X, as soon as he becomes unfrozen, you can hurt him again with the chill. Oh, okay, that's pretty else. easy. So you can just hit no, him. No, he, fla he flashes him. after he unfreezes in a X1. Yeah. There's a reason many sites give him a difficulty of 0 out of 5. Nice. I like this animation. It's super cool. You get the ballet spin. Hooray! So, yeah, you spin around. That's all. Do we get to see it test it out? Does this have one of those screens? No, it just gives you Meg Man doing the dramatic pose and changing color. Alright. For whatever reason. Yeah, that's it. You got top, top spin. spin! Swing! That looks like a Lech Man's color. Yes. If only it were that useful. We can, we Save can file? Hold. No, apparently not. And so, you're up. Oh, oh, right. Oh. You get to do Shadow. Oh. Oh. Which one of these guys is Cannabis Man? Cannabis Man. One of their levels has, like, distinctively weed-looking things in the background. I'm gonna really guess Sparkman's. I mean, maybe. Snake Man's. Sna no, it's not Snake. I thought it was Top, but maybe not. I've never noticed that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in 3. Or it could be this level, because this one's pretty trippy. I'd say that or Gemini Man. They have the two trippiest levels in the mm, game. Gemini Man's got, like, crystals and shit. Still trippy compared to the other levels. True. Oh, yeah, it's the first time we meet, uh, Blues. Pro Man. Man. Oh, yeah, technically he's break man. <laughs> technically it's not, it's just that's what he calls himself. Wait, no, you're, you're wrong, man. There's a fucking, like, animation where he, like, morphs. No, I don't think there is. I think he just appears as that. It's unused. And it's supposed to be some sort of disguise, yet he wears the exact same armor, so it doesn't work at all. Yeah. And he even whistles, so it doesn't yeah. work at all. Which game? I think it's three for Ness. There's like a thing where you can hold buttons on controller yeah, you can too, just... right? Oh. And do you, if you hold buttons on controller too, you can do fancy shit like jump out of pits and like all this random crap, never die. Oh. I thought you were gonna talk about how three you can just stand behind, and hold down rapid fire, and he dies in like two seconds. No, no, no. But uh, if you hold one of the combinations, I think it's the no die one. In the last cutscene, when his whistle plays, mm -hmm. it stays at that screen and doesn't like change, and you can hear the whistle's actually longer than you ever get to hear in game. Is it, it's probably just the same one as in the anime thing, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Good god, I hate this one. Ah! Kill the freaking star thing. Oh, you know what I mean? He shoots up. No, because guess what weapon shoots up? <laughs> the Shadow Blade. Or you can use the Magnet Beam. Now, now what is Magnet Man weak against again? 
I actually don't know. Shadow Blade. Oh. <laughs> you named the hard knuckle up, but good job of remanding it on these things. Hmm? Hard knuckle. It's so slow when it moves up that it's never going to hit them unless you like one certain one. I wasn't even aware you could name the hard knuckle. Yeah. I almost never use it, except it's a couple people's weakness and to break walls. It's only top man's weakness. Who's already the Okay, but it's three people's game. weakness in... Wait. Two more, I mean. In the tower, isn't it? Yes. I don't know. I know. I think Mega Water S is ironically weak against Heat Man's weapon. Heat? Yeah. I thought he was weak against Bomb. Well, maybe he's weak against both of them. Yeah, he probably has multiple weaknesses because you can take it different he weapons might, in. What? 8 plus 8 is 16. There's 22 different weapons. He's bound to be weak against probably more than one. Yeah. Oh, I hate <laughs> If only you could take them out with some sort of upward throwing weapon. Trevor be bladed because that's just cool. No. no one's gonna spawn. Or that. That never happened, okay? Right. I didn't see it. Just go. Just go. Shut up. <laughs> you do it. I have faith in you. Not Is that one. Helping. <laughs> Let me say faith now. I'm just thinking Justin Bieber and his wonderful song Craig. Uh, oh, I'm helping people. Well, why don't you get off your damn ass and actually do something? Okay. I don't really know who... Well, I mean, I've heard his name. But you don't know that, who Justin Bieber is? Other than having heard his name, no. I mean, I know he's a musician. He's a young male that is... He's squeaky, and yeah, that's it. You're a very lucky man. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this didn't use the same palette as the like man's weapon. The he's one of the two prime joys of this country in this decade. Along with Twilight being filmed in this country. No. Very nice. Twilight was filmed in this country. Yeah, but I'm not listening to your pop culture shit. More importantly, you took all a shit ton of damage simply because the weapon has a range of Mega Man. <laughs> not even Mega Man plus one, it's just Mega Man. I don't think you can kill anything unless it dies in one hit without taking damage. It's true. And even then, I still think you take damage. No. Well, I think it depends on whether you hit like exactly with the foot or with his head. I would suggest Spark Man or Gemini Man. Are they both weak to Shadow? No, but Gemini Man takes extra damage, and Gemini Man gives you... Oh, we got the Marine. Yeah, that's why I said you Gemini Man. Right. I hate to be in the comparison to the Battle Network series. Yeah. There's no Gemini Man in Battle Network. Especially in Star Force. Network. Yeah, in Star Force is Gemini Thunder. Oh. Yep, you can fight him um, in the first one as a regular boss, but in the second one he's a bonus boss. It's yeah. Kind of randomly... He's a bonus boss in 3 as well. I, yeah, I haven't played 3. Okay. He's a lot better in 3 because they both have independent life meters. Oh, Instead they have of... them in 2 as well. They oh, really? have them in 1. Yeah, in 1 you just had to beat on black. I have a question. Which ridiculous because white would sometimes stand in front of him. Yeah. They, are they, they ever going to release Operation Cheating Star here? Probably not, considering it's literally the same thing as I think Battle Network 1. Yeah, it's, like, it's Battle Network 1. It, There's it, a tiny little side quest for Star Wars. Yeah, and it's all on the DS, right? Yeah. You just have to defeat Mega Man, whatever the hell's name is this one, I don't know. Geo something. Mm -hmm. Shooting and Star. He's is shooting it, Star Rock now. Is it Clockman or Time Man? I think it's Clockman. I think it's Clockman. So I want to do Magnet. Is there anything wrong with this stage? Magnet? Yes, you need the jet pretty much to do it. Alright. I guess we'll do Gemini though. Gemini Man is one of the. Nah, I'm killing Spark. Okay, whatever, just do it. Again. No. I don't know. So many choices. It boggles the mind. Well, don't do Hard Man. Just stay away from Hard Man. Uh, what's he weak to? Magnet? Hard Man? Either Magnet or Spark. Okay. I always use Magnet. One of their weapons I don't think is strong against anyone. Really? Yeah. Because both of them are weak against Shadow Man. For whatever reason. Why they thought making two robots weak to the same weapon was a good idea. Eh. Yeah, that's, I guess that's why I'm not really familiar with the uh, pattern in this game. Because it has a fucked up, nonsensical. There's two not patterns! Pattern. Gemini Man, Gemini Man, Needle Man, and Snake Man have their own triangle. Oh, so Gemini beats uh, Needle? Yeah. Excellent, we're taking him out next. I and love the Needle cannon. Needle beats Snake, snake yeah. Snake beats Gemini, man. Interesting. He's apparently afraid of snakes. Sure. I thought someone was going to jump out of that bit. Oh. I'm taking a lot of damage in this section. And the one thing I have to say I do like about 5 is the fact that Wily actually got smart when he decided, you know, um, let's not make the robots weak against each other. <laughs> Well, they still pretty much are. 
Not really, the charge beam is the strongest weapon against him. 